Hello everyone, this is the Kari Holder here once again, and I am here to talk about Avengers Infinity War. Uh, Marvel Studios has celebrated its 10 year anniversary. I've been around ever since Iron Man came out. I saw Iron Man the first day it came out in theaters. I was about four or five years old. I just remember going to the theater with my dad and seeing this big gigantic movie and I remember Iron Man with the silver suit and I was like dad why does he have the silver suit instead of the regular one I remember that and ever since then I went to the theaters to go see every other Marvel movie since then I am a big Marvel fan guys just in case you guys haven't figured that out yet I'm wearing a shirt right now with all the characters this is basically my retro Infinity War shirt well I guess you could call it Infinity War, but you know, it has everybody on it. You see Iron Fist and Black Panther. So I've been around uh, since Iron Man. Even before then, you know, I still have some of the older uh, in Marvel movies that aren't MCU, like the Angry Hulk film, uh, the Blade film, um, the Blade TV show that came out on Spike. Oh, uh, what else do I have? The Spider-Man trilogy, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, of course. These movies have shown us there are many possibilities ahead uh, for the Marvel franchise, or for, for Marvel comics in general. They've shown us that anything is possible with these new, with these characters. And the movies that they've come out with, all these random films, they've showed us that comic book movies still exist. Movies like Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, they kind of showed us that the smaller characters can leave a bigger impact, you know? And it shows in Avengers Infinity War. Now, I'm gonna just start off by saying this. This is the darkest, most emotional, most, the most epic MCU film ever made. This is possibly the best or the greatest MCU film ever like it beats it beats Captain America Civil War in my opinion this movie is absolutely crazy everything I love about Marvel is put and inserted into Infinity War of course the movie is about well not just the Avengers but the heroes that we've uh, seen in the past few years they discovered that this guy Thanos or this alien Thanos and his uh, family are trying to get all the infinity stones and to destroy the world and they have to come together as one to defeat Thanos. What I love about this movie is that there's so many big accomplishments uh, that came out of this movie and I'm very happy that the Russo brothers came together and got all these people to start in one film and everyone is fleshed out to a T. It is it is a big film. It is a big film. So not every single character has been fleshed out. Everyone has that. Everyone has had their own movie up to this point, except for Black Widow. I think the Russo brothers did a fantastic job of bringing the characters together, fleshing them out to the best of their ability. It's two and a half hours, so it definitely shows that. One of my biggest praises of this film is how dark this movie really is, or how hopeless. This movie is especially from like the first 10 minutes of the film which I'm not gonna not gonna spoil you can see when you watch Infinity War that Marvel's in for it's not downfall per se it's entering its dark ages I'm proud to see that like this is the Empire Strikes Back of the MCU and and let me let me talk about Thanos real quick Thanos He's possibly the best villain in all the MCU. He beats Killmonger, okay? Thanos, he's not as ruthless as I expect him to be, which is fine because Thanos, in some situations, can be very sensitive. You know, he kind of resonated with me in some scenes, you know? Seeing him uh, act certain ways in certain situations kind of struck me, you know, because... It, it, it told me like man this this guy has feelings he has a background and he has emotions you know and I, I was happy to see that you know he's definitely one of my favorite characters so far I love Thanos Josh Brolin did a fantastic job as Thanos uh, there's 
a couple moments in the movie where I really liked him. The majority of the moments in the film where I just absolutely hated him. He was such a, a great villain. Of course, everybody in Avengers and the rest of the heroes uh, plays their role, especially uh, from Thor to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like this movie, even though it's very serious and it's very dark, it has its funny moments. Uh, it has some incredibly hilarious uh, moments here. I was really laughing throughout the entire runtime of this film. This movie's two and a half hours. Didn't feel like it at all. I was immensely focused and engaged throughout the entire runtime of the film. I mean, this movie is so sophisticated and focused. I love movies like that. I mean, I guess you guys probably noticed that by now, but you know, this movie kind of shocked me, especially near the end. Like, when the movie ended, like, everybody was, like, silent. I'm not going to explain what happens at the end, but everybody was silent. Nobody would get up until the post credit scene. Like, everyone was just staying in their seats. And I'll tell you this right now. The ending shows that... Uh, the MCU is heading into his dark ages and judging by the ending of the film I have no clue what they're gonna do next with the characters. I mean Everything is just I'm not gonna sp say anything about it, but It just blew my mind what the Russo brothers decided what decided what they decided to do with these characters I mean kind of made me sad. This is a very emotional movie. I almost shed a few tears in certain scenes. It's a very emotionally resonant film. Like I was, I resonated with a lot of the moments that was going on in the film. What happened, what was happening to these characters kind of resonated with me with what's going on with me right now at school. You know, I feel like I'm losing a lot of things when it comes to, you know, math and all, because math is apparently my biggest struggle now. So, you know, the things that happen with these characters, they kind of resonated with me. The technical aspects of Infinity War are all spectacular. I saw the film in IMAX, so, you know, I got the mega experience. It was filmed with IMAX cameras, and this movie is so huge and larger than life it just doesn't make any sense that's one of the reasons why it's the best mcu film in my opinion at least it is so far it is it's it's a very grand film it's like it's like you're going out to the biggest hotel in las vegas like that's how big this movie is it's so unbelievably grand From the camera work to the action scenes the action scenes are so intense it doesn't make any sense like this is the most intense MCU film like I'm saying the I'm gonna be saying the most a lot because everything in Avengers Infinity War outdoes the rest of the films in the MCU what else can I say I did have a few problems with the film. Things that did bother me the most with that was that number one, the film can get a bit uneven because you have all these people coming together to do one thing, and you know, the story can got can get a bit clunky at times. And number two, I also thought that the film kind of dragged a little bit uh, in the beginning and in the middle of the film, but. Other than that, I think that this film kind of understands the definition of desperation. Everybody in the film is desperate and they have one thing to do and everybody's just, just, just has at it, you know? Uh, everyone just does their own thing, you know? There's like nothing that's stopping these, hero these heroes for doing what they have to do. And I think that's a great motivation. Favorite MCU film because I think that this is the ideal um, Marvel film. This is the ideal epic Marvel film that I was looking for. I mean, yes, the film isn't perfect, but you got to acknowledge the accomplishments that were made in this film and for this film, really. Uh... You really can't compare Infinity War 
to any of the other Marvel films that came before it. I mean, this movie's spectacular. I had a great time watching this film. I almost teared up. If you're very sensitive when it comes to these characters, when it comes to these movies, well, bring a box of tissues, because you're going to be tearing up. Avengers Infinity War is definitely the greatest MCU film we've gotten so far. The performances are all around fantastic, from Robert Downey Jr., Tom Holland, he knocks it out the park, freaking Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon, oh my god, uh, Chris Evans, he's back as Captain America with the beard. Oh, uh, I can just go on and on about the performances. Everyone knocks it out the park here. Uh, as a film, it definitely works. As a science fiction adventure film, it works. As a Marvel comic book adaptation, it works. Like, on every level, Avengers Infinity War works. You cannot talk about this movie without acknowledging that. Uh, this is a, the biggest accomplishment in all MCU. Uh... If you guys haven't guessed already, I, I love this movie. This is a spectacular film. This is movie's phenomenal. Grade? It, I do have flaws with the film. But what film is perfect? Like, every film in the entire world is man-made. And what film is perfect like even i could say the empire strikes back or the 36 chamber of Shaolin is perfect but it can still have some technical flaws you know films are man-made and i didn't have like i did have two flaws but that didn't affect my enjoyment for infinity war you know this is this is the best mcu film i've ever seen i'm, I'm gonna say it again you know this movie just blew my mind you have to see it it has very mature themes, it has very sophisticated themes, even though it's very lighthearted at times and it's very hilarious, it also has some very dark and emotionally resonant moments that just, that just tugged on some strings. I mean, it got deep into my heart, like some of the moments in here got deep into my heart, you know, it's just... It's a spectacular film. I would love to see what they do next, but I have no clue what they would do with these characters next. So, yes, that's my thought on Avengers Infinity War. I didn't say a lot here because I didn't want to spoil anything. But if you guys want to see it, go see it. I highly recommend it, especially in IMAX. Like, that's the best version you got to see. You have to see it in IMAX. And, uh... I hope you guys have been having a blessed day, having a blessed weekend. I'll try to do as much videos as I can. I had a lot happen to me throughout the past two weeks. So, I'll stay in touch. Go see Infinity War and stay positive. You guys have a blessed day.